A lot of common complaints I see about raw feeding is that it's too expensive or how certain meats are too hard to find to make a balanced raw diet. So in this video, I'll be going over exactly how I'm able to feed a balanced raw meal to my dog for super cheap and how you can find cuts like this at your local grocery stores. Today we went shopping at Kroger, which I'll be honest had the worst selection of offcuts out of any grocery store I've been in, uh, but I still managed to find most of the things that I needed. To start, your dog should have at least three different proteins in their bowl, so I got chicken breast, lean ground beef, ground turkey, pork, and beef liver. They often carry a chicken gizzard and heart medley, but of course they didn't have any today. Um, and for bone, they have chicken wings, drumsticks, as well as turkey necks, but since I have chicken necks at home, I didn't get any for this video, but from experience, chicken necks and feet are pretty available at most grocery stores, so I'm confident you'll find some. The hardest cut to find that dogs need in their diet in my experience is the second secreting organ, which I'll go over later. However, I found that smaller grocery stores or Asian markets will, at the very least, sell kidney. I feel like I do need to note that if you're transitioning your dog off kibble and onto raw, you need to introduce protein slowly and one at a time so you can pinpoint if your dog is sensitive to anything in particular. Also, pick bones that are the appropriate size for your dog to chew, so don't buy weight-bearing bones like beef bones or thick pork bones. For this haul, the total was around $16.06 for the muscle meats and liver. We did have an item on there that didn't have to do with this haul, so sorry about that. Um, but if I did buy the necks and kidney that I have at home, the price would be around $19.65 according to their average price per pound. This is about 10 pounds of meat for $19.65. This equals roughly 2.5 weeks worth of meals for my 25 pound dog and comes down to $1.09 per meal. Now it's time to prep. What you'll need is a scale, your dog's bowl or prep bowls if you're prepping for weeks out, a cutting board, a sharp knife, and a calculator. My dog Matsu is a 25 pound adult corgi and he eats around 2.3% of his body weight. The ratios most raw feeders use as a base is 80% muscle meat, 10% raw meaty bone, 5% liver, and 5% other secreting organ. I take these percentages out of the 2.3% of his weight and convert that to ounces so I can weigh them out easier. Here I'm adding his raw meaty bone. The meat on the bone does count into the 80% muscle meat and I'll show you how to calculate that. PerfectlyRawsome.com has a great bone percentage page where you can find a particular cut and its bone content. Matsu's daily bone intake is around 0.9 ounces. Chicken necks are around 36% bone and the rest is muscle meat. So I just take 0.36 times the weight of the neck and that gives me how many ounces of bone is in this particular neck. I then add the 0.5 ounces of kidney and liver and fill the rest with muscle meat as that's the remaining 80% of the 9.2 ounces. I do want to urge you to check out local butchers, farmers, and hunters to open the door for more variety, and sometimes even cheaper bargains. They're actually my main source, and I honestly can't tell you how many cuts I've gotten for free. And there we have it. We have a complete prey model raw bowl for your dog with affordable cuts you can find at your local grocery store. Be sure to check out this video to learn more about how to fill nutritional gaps in your dog's raw meals.